Welcome to DXP Diecast Racing. Let's put some cars on the track. I'm going to track 16 of them today. These are all newer models, maybe a month old, maybe real new to you, just depends. Let's see what we got. From the Q case, this beautiful Mustang right here, the Boss 302. They usually run pretty well. Find out if this one does. Next up, the Alpha Romo GT V6 3.0 in white. Real nice, got those newer wheels on them. The red one did not do very well. I don't know if this one will do well or not. Find out. These new cars are always hit and miss. The Mad Mike Drift Attack. I've been told this one is not very fast, but we're gonna find out anyway because that's what we do. New for 2023. We'll find out ourselves if this one's worth it or if they're not worth it. This is also from the Q case. Another one here, this Lightning Bug. Now, Lightning Bugs have done fairly well for what they are. This one, I believe, is also from the Q case. This Lightning Bug is in blue. We'll find out if it's any count. New for 2024. This car right here, the I guess you'd call that the Sing Singer, Sensor 21C. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't know if that's a real car or if that is a fantasy car. I have no idea. We'll have to look it up and find out. But anyway, new for 2024. Put it on the track. Let's find out. The limited grip in blue. With the gold mesh wheels. I think those are mesh wheels. Pretty sharp looking. Got a lot of blue cars, it seems like. Got this 69 Dodge Charger 500 in purple. Got them big back wheels. Maybe we can find some speed in it. A big, huge shout out to JAC Racing. Thank you, sir, so much. He heard that I, on one of the videos, I said I had not been able to find this white Jaguar I-Pace because the white ones have been kind of scarce in this area right here. This one is from the end case. So it's a little bit older. But I want to just thank you so much for sending me a few of these cars to test. Uh, I hate those Trap 5s, but you know what? That's a pretty sharp-looking car. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. We're going to track him. One a little bit different. I found a few of these, these C10s. So this one right here, this is from the Spider-Man series. I don't know how well it'll do. But we're going to find out. 67 Chevrolet C10. Got this Honda CRX. I do not know which case this came out of because I believe this is one of those European Dodgers right here. I don't know. I don't know how old or how new it is, but it's a pretty car. Another blue one. I also found the old Datsun. The old Datsun 510 wagon. This is not the Super. But uh, these things right here, I only found one of these in all my hunting around Christmas or before Christmas. The only one I could find. So these things right here, the scalpers are, have got a bunch of them, obviously. But a lot of people like these cars. We'll find out how they do. New for 2024. Look at this thing. Punk rod. I believe it's got a that's a plastic base. I don't know. We'll see how it does. Probably not good, but oh well. It is what it is. This is the Tesla Model Y in blue. Sharp looking car. These Teslas are pretty nice. I believe this is also from the A-Case. It is. 
a case. Here's a McLaren Solus GT. That is pretty cool too. Now, I'm not expecting much because it's a McLaren. I never do find very fast McLarens. So anyway, check him out. Also found the Viper here, RT10. This Viper is a, man, what have they done to the Vipers? I remember you used to get Vipers and they were sharp and they were fast, at least decently fast. I don't have very much hope for this guy. We'll find out though, but yeah. And then last, but and least I suppose, I got this Ford F1 Lightning Custom here. Now this does have a low, the low piece right here, as you can see, it sticks out, it sticks out quite a ways. The thing is, though, it does have decent clearance. I've already unboxed one of these and uh, actually made a mod out of it already. Uh, I took this front piece off. These things right here are decently quick. Not saying they're all super fast, but decently quick. So let's uh, we'll do another one up. Let's see if we can get something on in the stock here. So those are the 16 cars. We're going to work them all up, put them on the track, See if we can't get some speed out of them. Hang tight with me. Let's do it. All right, so we got all the cars ready to go. This is the grouping we're gonna get. We got these 16 cars. Let's see if we can find one that's fast here. First up, we have the Tesla going against the uh, boss Mustang here. Put the Mustang over here in lane one. Tesla in lane two. Biggest beat gets it. Ready, set, go. Wow, that Tesla's quick. 2308, really not quick. The Mustang is incredibly slow. Wow, incredibly slow, that's a one and done. Tesla's gonna get it, Mustang is pitiful. Got the Jaguar I-Pace here in white. Going up against this guy, the Punk Rod. You in for 2024. Gonna put the Punk Rod over here in lane one. And we're gonna put the Jaguar I-Pace in lane two. Ready, set, go. Right there at the end, on the big end. Jaguar 2282 to a 2317. That is a 18, 20, 35 thousands beat. Right there, 35 thousands beat. We're gonna swap them up, even though I believe this is pretty much unnecessary. But we're gonna do it anyway. A lot of these cars have got these new lower lips here. Don't know why Hot Wheels all of a sudden is wanting to do that. Ready, set, go. 2277 to a 2311. So the Jaguar right here is going to take that race. Interesting casting. All right. We got this Mad Mike Drift, which is pretty lightweight. Probably not going to be good against the limited grip. Put the limited grip over here in lane one. That casting is pretty sharp looking, though, I think, for a truck. Kind of a really wild looking truck ready set go oh 2293 to a 2309 that is a 16,000s beat for the limited grip in blue this car didn't do that bad definitely better than that mustang that was pitiful 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 none of these cars though are showing out didn't think they would but you know Somebody's got to race them, right? Might as well be me. Ready, set, go. 2267 to a 2283. That ain't terrible times. Right there. This guy's going to move on. Not quite enough. I wonder how much he weighs. Not very heavy. The lightning bug in blue going up against the charger. Put the charger over here in lane one. And the blue lightning bug over here in lane two. 
Ready, set, go. Decent race. Lightning bug on the big end down there. 2262 to a 2280. Not a bad race. Nothing extravagant, but you know, hey, it is what it is. 18,000 speed by the blue lightning bug. I like these lightning bugs. This is the only casting in the 16 group right here that has a metal base. So that's kind of interesting. Ready, set, go. Good race, 2240 to a 2254, that ain't a bad time. So the blue lightning bug is gonna take it over the pretty purple charger. Got this Ford right here, the F-150 lightning going up against this guy right here. I saw this guy, I don't know. You know, you get on some of these Hot Wheel groups and they're selling cars and everything. And I saw this car right here for $4. Are you kidding me? Come on, people. Ready, set, go. Oh, he took, he went right around him. 2286 to a 2342. We're gonna race him again, just for the graphite's sake. But this guy right here, substantial lead. Not as quick as a few of the others that we've raced though today. I don't know why four dollars for that crs why why just because it's a jdm ready set go i don't understand it 2253 to a 23 is it are these cars that hard to find folks are they really i mean i didn't have that hard of a time finding that one i put several of those back before i finally decided to buy one of those i don't know i don't get it Got this purple Chevy S10 going against the Viper. The Viper. Red Viper in lane one with those new style wheels. The wild wheels going up against this truck. Ready, set, go. Good race. Truck pulled it out. 2303 to a 2315 to a 12,000's beat for the truck. Right there. Oh, Spider-Man truck. All right here, this will be the, probably the last race I filmed before the new year. Hope y'all have a good new year. Hope you have had a good Christmas. Ready, set, go. Truck, stayed out front. 2284 to a 2301. So the truck is going to advance. Not as bad as I thought, still though. Got this guy right here, and I never did look this guy up to see if he's a real car or not. What's that, a Sensor 21C. Man, he does not weigh lot, uh, much at all. Going up against this pretty white, it looks like a rally car. I'll feel Rumo rally car. Ready, set, go. Now that car is really lightweight. 2247. That's a good time. <laughs> 2247 to a 23. That's a, that's a one and done too. Wow, that car right there, not too bad. This car right here. Ah uh, man, that is a lightweight. We're gonna weigh him here in a minute. Here, let's weigh him now just to see what he weighs. Because I'm telling you, this car does not weigh much. 26.08. That's what I thought. It is a lightweight beast right there. Whew, really light. We got the McLaren Solstice, which I'm not, not how you said, Solus, Solus GT, McLaren, not expecting much out of it. Another Datsun right here. The much sought after Datsun, everybody's looking for that treasure hunt. All oh, these Datsuns, this vehicle, folks, if you've ever seen that vehicle in real life, you, you would wonder why it is so, so, so sought after. Ready, set, go. If I can speak. So sought after. How about that? 2291 to a 2336. It is, in my opinion, a very ugly car. <laughs> but, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 45,000 feet, I believe, is what it was. This McLaren is like most McLarens. I don't know why Hot Wheels does not make a fast McLaren because I have not seen one. Ready, set, go. 
I say that, then it wins. 2264. <laughs> Good grief. How in the world did that happen? It's not a big enough beat, though. How in the world did the graphite break in? Because he was getting drilled. Biggest beat goes to this guy right here. All right, let's see here. Tesla, the two battery operated cars going at it. The Tesla and the Jaguar right there. The white version. Thank you again, Mr. JAC. Supplying me with a few of these white ones. 2274 to a 2288. 14,000's beat for this guy right here. 14,000's beat. Yeah, these new cars are, may not excite everybody, but some people haven't seen these on the track yet. And uh, I'm putting them on the track just to see. Ready, set, go. Just to see if any of them have anything worth anything. That's a 10,000's beat. For the Jag, so the Jag are going to be advancing. Put you here, limited grip, and the lightning bolt bug. Can't speak this morning. Lightning bug right here going against limited grip. Let's see who's going to take it. I got my money on that lightning bug. Ready, set, go. Ooh, 2241 to a 52. That's an 11,000 beat right there. By Mr. Lightning Bug. I'm getting a little bit faster. A couple of runs getting a little bit faster. The garage temperature is probably, I would say, in the upper 40s right now. Because it's cold outside. Ready, set, go. You know, that's one thing in Tennessee. We have these really hot days and then we have these cold days. That's a 2238. That's the fastest time we've seen today. I wonder what, what was that beat? Yeah. Got a 15,000s beat too. For the lightning bug. Blue lightning bug is not half bad. For what it is, Ford F-150. The two trucks are fixing to go at it. Chevy in lane one. The Ford F F-150 lightning. There we go. Ready, set, go. Might have misspoke, said F-250. I didn't mean to. 46 to an 83. That is a 37,000 beat for the Ford over the Chevy. Let's rack them again. 37,000 beat. We're going to put the Chevy in lane two. Put the Ford in lane one. Ready, set, go. Ford gets him all the way down the hill. 2254 to a 2284. That's a 30 thousands beat for that Ford right there. That's a nice looking casting. I like it. I like it a lot. Put you over here. Put the Datsun and out of the old Robo. Looks like a little rally car to me. Kind of like it. Pretty cool looking. I like those new tires on it. Ready, set, go. Whoa, look at him go by him. Good job there, buddy. 2246 to a 78. It's a 32,000s beat. I believe it is. 32,000s beat. That guy right there is pretty quick. A lot quicker than the red ones that I tested. The red one I tested was not quick at all. That's a little white one. Doing pretty well, pretty well. Ready, set, go. Get him go, 36 to an 87. Good pace of times for these newer cars. I like it. All right, here's your final four right there. Lightning bug, eye pace. Put the eye pace in lane one. Lightning bug in lane two. Ready, set, go. Oh, that metal base. 46 to a 78. 32 thousandths beat. About right. 32 thousandths. 
Or the lightning bug. Lightning bug's not bad. I got a lightning bug up here in the case. I think they're pretty good with that metal base. Decent weight for what they are. Ready, set, go. Look, this blue one may be faster than the other one, though. 67 to a 35. That's a pretty fast little car right there. I bought a bunch of those lightning bugs in the original, but that one right there may be faster. We'll find out. Find out here in a minute. Ford F-150 Lightning going against the Alfa Romo. Alfa Romo. Ready, set, go. Who took it? The truck took it, but not by much. 47 to a 55. Only got him by eight thousandths. Swap lanes here. Let's see what happens. Eight thousandths beat by the truck. I really thought that guy right there was going to take the whole thing the way he was running. And he still might. Ready, set, go. Who did he get him by eight? That's the question. Yes, he did. Got him by ten. He is going to advance. By two thousand, so it's not a bad, not a bad run. But here we go. Not really what I expected. I kind of expected these two, but we'll take this. Lightning bug going to lane one for the championship, and the little Alfa Romo. Lane two, ready, set, go. Woo! Pretty close race. 35 to a 41. So that is a 6,000th beat by the lightning bug. We're gonna swap them up. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen here? Here we go, folks. Championship run right here. Ready, set, go. Man, I think he got him. I think he got him. 34 to 38. No, he did not. A 4,000th beat the lightning bug. The lightning bug is going to take it. Even though he lost that round, the bigger beat in the first run goes to the lightning bug. You know what we all do? We all just run them again. Lightning bug. We're going to crown the lightning bug champion, but we're going to run them again because pretty good race. Let's see what happens. Run them again. Why not? Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, that lightning bug pulls up quick on the straight. 40 to a 38, that's only a 2,000 speed. Swap them up, see what happens. Lightning bug down by 2,000. My lane differences here showing up in the cold. But that's okay, it happens. Ready, set, go. You're going to take him all the way down, 36 to 41, yep. Look at that lightning bug, just a hair faster. Just a hair faster. Let's see what he weighs. Put him up here against the case. The lightning bug comes in 34.67. All right, now that's going to put you in this right here. And the current gatekeeper is this guy right here. FTE. Is that a medieval? I believe it is. Check him out, see what happens. I'm gonna put him over here in lane one. Maybe go in lane two. Whoever wins or loses this will not be completely out because I'll redust him in a little bit. Ready, set, go. The calibration must continue on. 36 to a 47. It's 11,000 speed right there. We'll swap them up. 11,000 speed for the lightning bug. Well, what do you know? Let's see if he can do it in this lane. If he can do it in this lane, he will be in the case. In the case. Ready, set, go. Oh, man, did he get him by closer than 11? 27 to a 35. Yes, he did. It's only 8,000 speed, but he got him. All right, so what we're gonna do, because we know recalibration is going to happen, 
all these guys right here are gonna get recalibrated. Sit you right here. We're gonna put you in the case for now. Let's see if you're faster than this guy right here. The salt shaker. Let's see if you're faster than the salt shaker. If you're faster than the salt shaker, I'm gonna put you up against that other lightning bug. Let's find out. Ready, set, go. Ooh, it's a close race. Fantasy car, 40 to a 43. Got him by 3,000, so I don't know if he'll hold him. I don't know if he'll hold him. We'll find out. Salt Shaker over here in lane one. Yo, lightning bug, blue, lane two. Ready, set, go. Who got it? 38 to a 39. He did get him. Wow. So the lightning bug, we're going to put you up against this other lightning bug. Now, this one hasn't been dusted in a little bit, but it's pretty quick. Lightning bug versus lightning bug for the fun of it. Right here, we're going to put the blue one over here in lane one. Put the yellow one in lane two. Or the clear one, glow in the dark. Ready, set, go. Pretty good race. Lightning bugs. 38 to a 42, that's a 4,000th beat. By the blue one, swap them up. Oh, lightning bugs. Yeah, I like these lightning bugs. I got several of the other color too. I don't know why, I like that, I like that metal base. Ready, set, go. Did he get him? Got him by four. Woo! I don't remember what the first race was. I'm gonna say he beat him though. I think he did. Put you up here against this guy right here. We'll know soon enough. Put you up against that Mustang. Mustang has potential. It is it is a candidate, I believe. No, he's not a candidate. Yeah, maybe he is a candidate. To go to another race here, L C D R L. Right there, folks. Ready, set, go. Woo, it Mustang's quick. 22 to a 34. That's a 12,000th beat by that guy right there. 12,000th beat. Let's see if it holds up in the other lane. If so, we have our stopper. Ready, set, go. Yes, sir, Mustang's gonna hang on. So we got a place for the ladybug. 32 to a 36, a little bit closer. Yeah, this guy right here has the potential to go to a race. We'll find out. Right now, we're gonna move Grand Cross, the Firebird, the other Firebird. Salt Shaker's gonna go down here. Put you over here, the Rally Special. And then look at here, two lightning bugs right there. I wonder if they blink at night. <laughs> I'm gonna race these other cars off camera. Or do you want to see one? Do you want to see another one? Here. Let's see what this one is. Why not? I got you here. I was going to race them on camera, but hey, I'm going to take it off. Let it zero out. 33, 33. So he's in the same class. He was decently quick. Let's see if he can beat this guy right here, the Grand Cross, the white Grand Cross. Yeah, my recalibration's got to take place. I keep talking about it. I talked about it a lot last year too. It's got to happen. I've got to do it. Gonna take some time. Ready, set, go. Oh yeah, he, that Grand Cross ain't got nothing for him right now. Grand Cross is in bad shape. Uh, 25, 28 thousandths. 28 thousandths beat. Let's swap them up. See if that Grand Cross gets any faster since it warms up a little bit. I don't think he's going to. Ready, set, go. No, he pulled right around him. A 48 to a 57. All right, so you're going to get in. That's pretty cool. On the bottom end of these cases, sometimes you get a lot of... Put you over here to be redone. You get a lot of movement on the bottom end of these cases, and that's fine. I ain't got no problem with that. Rally Special. Let's see what happens here. Some of these new cars, y'all may be familiar if you're 
just now getting into die cast racing or maybe you've been into die cast racing for a little bit seeing these cars on the shelf see they have a few of them have potential ready set go Woo, rally special 26 to a 40. that's a 14 thousand speed uh, this guy right here he was on the shelves not too long ago you know some of these newer cars they get they can they can be decently quick i mean i'm not saying they're going to be elite they're definitely not in the top 48 but i mean for racing ready set go when you're trying to find some decently fast cars every once in a while it's a 27 to a 40 so he's nowhere close to that all right so you're not faster than this guy here let's put you up against this older guy firebird cheesy potato chip firebird here let's see if you can move up the ranks just a little bit they're fun to do anyway ready set go oh the firebird gets him 24 to a 38 14 thousandths beat right there swap them up 14 thousandths beat by the old firebird so it's not bad if you find a couple even in their low ranks ready set go all right he's not faster than him either that leaves only one guy for you to go at the 20 to a 47 by the way all right if you're not faster than that guy then you're either the gatekeeper or this guy's the gatekeeper both of these you can find at your neighborhood shop of disappointment, otherwise known as Wally World, the Walmart, both on the shelves right now. Ready, set, go. Well, they were before Christmas anyway. 4,000 speed, a 45 to a 49. And they're in the low tier of my ranks for now. I got a bunch of cars in there that I think are going to put a bunch of these cars out. But for now, trying to get faster in this in these ranks anyway. Ready, set, go. Oh, did he get him by four? I think he did. 36 to 53. Okay, he's going to be the door, doorkeeper. The doorkeeper. All right. Put you right here. Gatekeeper right there. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. See, if you get up here, you get some more of these little specialty cars up here. Get a little bit faster up here than down here. But that's okay. Whoo! This one may have potential. And I don't know. That guy right there was not too terribly bad. We'll see what happens. Anyway. DXP Diecast Racing. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good, safe new year. We're going to come back. we got a lot of good stuff coming up for you. Don't miss this next year. Comment, subscribe. Keep these comments going. Keep these subscriptions going. Let's get my numbers up a little bit. Like, I really care. <laughs> if you want to watch, watch. If you don't watch, that's fine, too. I mean, I'm doing this because I love it. DXP Diecast Racing. See you on the track.